Hello and welcome to this broadcast of Warrior TV. I'm Ansley. And I'm Liza. We have a great show today starting with the St. Martin's Intramural Sports Program. Third through fifth graders have the opportunity to learn how to play ultimate frisbee, volleyball, soccer, and second grade students can learn the cross. This helps prepare students in elementary school for middle school sports. The first part of each sport is learning and developing the basic skills of the game and the second part is playing. Several middle school students from different sports teams have been invited to help mentor at the intramural practices. We will have one more intramural sports program and an interview with Coach McDaniel in our next broadcast. On October 29th, the St. Martin's Drama Department presented its annual Fall Drama Showcase. Scenes and songs from Peter Pan Jr. and Xanadu Jr. were performed. Improv games were played by each grade level, and a performance of the one-act competition piece was presented that evening. It was a great turnout and a wonderful night of theater. Elementary Chorus is preparing for several events this semester. Some of the members will be singing at the NAES Biennial Conference being held this year in Atlanta. NAES stands for the National Association of Episcopal Schools. St. Martin's, along with Holy Innocence, St. Benedict's, and St. George's Episcopal Schools, will be sending students to sing in a combined Atlanta diocesan Episcopal School Choir. They are preparing two selections to be sung during a chapel service that will be held at the Marriott Marquis on Thursday, November 8th. Presiding Bishop Michael Curry will be the officiant. He delivered the sermon at the Royal Wedding this summer in London. They will also sing for Veterans Day and Grandparents Day, as well as perform for their Christmas concert and go on their annual caroling trip to town Brookhaven. Keep up the good work, Warriors! On October 22nd and 23rd, middle school students in 6th to 8th grade tried out for the girls and boys basketball teams. The students trying out went through various drills and eventually scrimmaged. There are three boys basketball teams and three girls basketball teams. The A, B, and C teams, congratulations to everyone who tried out into the, into the teams they made. We, we are looking forward to a great season this year. Make sure to come out and support your basketball warriors. The St. Martin's Student Council hosts four middle school dances each year. The first dance this year was on Friday, October 26, 2018. The theme was fall. It was a great night filled with dancing, singing, and fun. Thank you, Student Council, for an awesome night. Make sure to post on the next dance on your calendar for Friday, February 8, 2019. On Friday, October 26th, the A volleyball team and the SMES teachers played in, played in an intense volleyball match. In set one, the aged warriors came out fighting. The girls brought good defense and impressive offense. But unfortunately, the young warriors lost the first set 25-13. In the second set, the girls came out strong thanks to strong serving by Abby Williams and Emma Schwind. Eventually, even though the girls fought hard, they lost a close second set, 25-22. Great defensive work by Lily Grace Short and Liza Love, and powerful hitting from, from Hadley Broughton and Katie Nama. On the teacher side, impressive hitting from Coach Albo and Mr. Haddo. Great serving by Coach Walker, and great defense by Mr. Nama, Coach Tare, and Dr. Otley. Congratulations on an amazing season, Lady Warriors. Last Thursday, November 1st, we had an assembly about Diwali the Festival of Light in India that is the celebration of good over evil. St. Martin's students Maya Warrior, Avi Argwal, David Yodav, and Tosi Goyal spoke about what Diwali meant to each of them, and sixth grader Sapna performed an Indian dance. A teacher and dancer from an Indian dance school were guests and performed two pieces and talked about what Diwali meant to them. Smez parents, Mrs. Goyal, Mrs. Yodav, and our diversity and inclusion director, Dr. Russell, coordinated a fun assembly that ended with the middle school students getting henna tattoos, traditional henna food, and candles for Diwali. It was a great celebration. On Sunday, November 4th, St. Martin's held its first open house of the year, hoping to welcome more families to our St. Martin's community. Dr. Ali kicked off the event with her his personal story on why he chose to come to St. Martin's. Eighth grader Jack Schmidt and former students Audrey Holton and Lewis Janes talked about how much St. Martin's has helped them prepare them for their next level of education. Many student ambassadors gave tours of the school for prospective families. Thanks to everyone involved and the admissions department for hosting such a wonderful event. Thank you for watching this broadcast of Warrior TV. Be sure to check us out on our YouTube channel. We'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time.